En, to, tre, fire. Hi and welcome to a new episode of um, of, of uh, fly tying uh, trout flies. Um, I, I told you I wanted to tie, you know, one fly with one material, and uh, I use a lot of hair's mask and. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is uh, because a couple of years ago I was was this Norwegian fly tying fair and uh, I was sitting beside uh, Thomas Illich, a friend of mine. And uh, he, he, he has this thing, he's tying dry flies with a few materials and uh, most of them are, you know, with the stuff from, uh, from, from uh, a rabbit or a hare. Uh, hare, some, as we say in Norway, and um, and I kind of get got inspired of his his uh, you know his idea of, of doing things very simply, so simple. So yeah, and uh, and uh, I have a, a few flies that he ties, and uh, and they look great. And uh, but I wanted to tie, uh, you know, I want to tie three flies with the just hair's mask. Because I kind of like the idea of just having this in my on my trip and you know tie a dry fly, a merger and a nymph with just hair's mask. Uh, on the nymph part, I think I will use some copper wire because I need to wait it, wait it down. But uh, you probably could you uh, you know use a hook that is quite heavy and and drop the copper wire. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I want to uh, tie three flies. You know, one material, three three flies. And, and uh, I'm going to start with this dry fly. It's a, it's a very simple fly and it's a bushy fly. Uh, you know, I've, I've said to you before that I, I enjoy bushy flies uh, for, for different purposes. You know, when I'm fish, fishing grayling, uh, I like the bushy small flies. So this is perfect for me. So yeah, uh, I'm using hair's mask. And uh, I'm using the different uh, uh, the different part of the mask. I'm going to show you down here on the camera. I'm going to try to show you as good as I can on how I tie them in and work with them. Because if you overdress this fly, it's just going to be a huge ball of materials. And we don't want that. We want to try to get the silhouette of the body and the wing and everything when you see it underneath. So, And you can see that on the camera too. So yeah, it's quite nice. So I'm using some different parts I'm going to show you. And uh, for the hook, I'm using Tiemco uh, 102Y in size 17. I like this in small size and can also tie it in 15. But for me, I think I'm thinking where I'm fishing, you know, my fishing rivers in, in Gloma, where I fish my graylings. And uh, sometimes they, they just love the small dry flies in brownish color. So. This is great, so yeah, that's why I'm tied in 17. You can tie it in 15 too, but I like the 17 hook or a 16 hook, yeah, yeah. And what other thing you need? You need a black thread. This is 80 uh, uni thread, and and um, you need a velcro brush because uh, you need to an easy way to get out the under fur of the hair mask. And actually. What I I often use this. This is a coffee grinder. This is a Krups F203 coffee grinder, where I blend my dubbing, and I use this for my seals. Everything I make dubbing for myself. And as you can see here, when I'm tying this fly, I put this. I got my uh, here. Here it is, and I put all my all the small stuff I put in here. Put it in, and I mix this up, and I get this amazing nice dubbing. And this is actually the dubbing I'm going to use for the. Uh, emerger and for the nymph so you kind of use the materials leftovers for the dry flies to tie to tie the emerger and when you tie the emerger you want to make a wing you tie you use the leftovers to tie the nymph so i like that idea yeah uh, it's quite cool so yeah so yeah i'm used the uh, i'm going to show you how it works i'm just going to leave it here on my table and put in the leftovers there otherwise uh, i use a whip finish tool i is, use two scissors because uh, I use this small one, as you can see, I love this uh, this uh, scissor. It's a real nice one, and I got this long one because you have to cut. Uh, you split the thread and put in the fibers, and it's a nice to have a really sharp one and long one. So this is the holy scissor. <laughs> so yeah, okay, guys, let's start up this fly. I think I need a, a little bit time because the space between the camera and the fly is is like that. So I'm. I do my best, okay? I really want to show you this fly. So yeah, let's start off with the dry fly. So here you see the dry fly. 
Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit bushy, but uh, you know, you could, you can, uh, of course, you could snip off all the. I mean, and if you look underneath, you got a nice, you nice, uh, you know, silhouette of a dry fly and the tail and everything. So I, I kind of like this fly. Yeah, I, I know it's gonna work. I, I know Thomas uh, fish with this, uh, with these uh, flies and. It kind of makes them a little bit different than me, but uh, you know it's the same principle. Uh, uh, here's here's mask is is you been used for for many 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 years, and of course uh, uh, this is nothing new. I just I'm just telling you my ideas and what I want, and I'm just gonna s make uh, three flies uh, of of one material. Okay, so yeah, so here we go. That's the dry fly. I'm gonna start off with that one. And this is gonna work great at the grayling. They really like those small flies, you know, yeah. So let's start by putting in a hook, size 17 is what I use, small one, yeah. I want to have it small, and I have to put the hook in here because if I put it up there, it's gonna spit it out because this device doesn't like small hooks. So I'm sorry about that, but if I'm lucky, this won't go out in 100 miles an hour <laughs> there we go so i'm sorry i don't like to have the hook like that i like to have it a little bit longer up but that's the way it is guys so yeah let's start off with the thread by the by the hook i am gonna do some wraps to the middle of the hook and i'm gonna snip off the excess like that and i'm gonna go back to the middle there we're gonna tie in our wing and for the wing I you know I told you when I in the Q&A I told you what I was looking for in a hair's mask and I really like when the, 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 the chins are light nice and light you see on both sides here it's nice and light and you got this this is the eyes here here are the eyes and this part I use for the body of oh, the hackle I mean sorry the hackle it's nice, nice and dense, you see? It's a lot of cover here. And we're gonna use the cover here because they are many tips and it stands great on the water. So yeah. So I'm gonna use the chin up here for the tail. You see nice and long cover here. And I'm used to gonna use the hair's ears for for the body. Nice and short and soft, you know? And and uh, for the wing, I'm, I'm gonna use back here between the eyes, <laughs> between the ears. <laughs> Sorry. There's a nice white color, as you can see. It's, I have used all this, but you see, nice and white cover here. And also you got the nice cover here on the sides here, you can see. So you can choose where you want to go in. We can, this time, in Norwegian I use this one. It's almost nothing left. I can try to pinch one out, but yeah, I'll try to take last one out, okay? You can see I got some leftovers. I put it in the coffee grinder. Make some dubbing for the nymphs. Yeah, I'm gonna try to snip out a piece and I'm gonna try to show you on the camera. It's not so easy, you know, because, because uh, you know, it's about it's so close. So I'm gonna stick my finger in behind and I'm gonna try to get out the white part. It's not so easy. Perhaps use my right hand, right hand to take away what I don't want. Mm. I'm gonna try to get a hold of those. Put my, my index finger behind and use my thumb to kind of groom it up and pinch it. And I'm gonna snip it out by pushing the skin at the table and making sure my scissor is all the way down because we want the full length, okay? I'm gonna snip out, come up here, and we're gonna check it. Oh, looks great. We can't use the stacker here, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a bushy wing, so change the hand and just check that I had enough, okay? Change the hands again, hold the tips, come in with our Velcro brush, like that, and pull out most of the underfur. That's quite important because this underfur, they, it sucks water. So you don't want that. Pull out most of it, okay? This we're gonna put in our in our uh, coffee grinder for dubbing, so yeah. And then we're gonna change our hands with the wing, like that, I'm gonna measure it. And then same length as the whole hook, like that. Perhaps take out the longest one there, get out. Long, like that, almost the same as the hook. Tie it in by taking a loose wrap, go down and up and pinch it, and take a couple of secure wraps.
tying backwards to the middle of the hook and snip it off in a angle to taper it out. Then I like to tighten up here, go to the shank and go up again because that secures this wing. And go back up again to the wing and we're gonna make uh, some support turns to make the wing stand up like that, okay? So pull back the wing, tie all the way in there and go three, four turns in front and go back again. Because when you go back again, the thread will kind of, it's easier to take some turns all the way in there, okay? I'm gonna make the wing stand up like that. Oh yeah. See, nice little wing, nice little wing. We don't want a big fly. This is a small dry fly, okay? So yeah, let's take our thread back to tie in the tail. And I'm gonna stop by the hook point because the fibers are quite slippery and I want to tie them in there and go that way and back again, okay? And then I'm gonna select out for the tail and that's the chin, not, not the, down, the part down here, but all the way up here. You see, here's the ear and, and the fibers here are nice and long, long cover here. And that's what we want for the, for the tail. So I'm going to push my index finger behind some of the fibers and groom it with my thumb like that. You can see, I'm going to pinch it and snip it out. I'm just going to snip out a small piece this time because we don't want too much. Oh, that's way too much, <laughs> but that's no problem. We can just pinch them out and put it in the coffee grinder. It's way too much. That's all right, we need some dubbing. So, and here we don't want any of the under fur, okay? So groom them out. Oh, that's lovely. Great. So take them with your right hand. And you know, you, all your fingers get cover of this small fiber. So if you tie them for a long time, you get quite crazy <laughs> because you get hairs all over the place. But okay, that doesn't matter. That's a little bit, uh, you know, it's kind of how it is to tie fly. So I'm gonna make the tail same length as the body, change hands, and I'm gonna go in from the side here, okay? From the side, loose wrap, tighten up, and you see the tail just slides up on the top. And I'm not letting go. I want to go all the way to the bar, uh, to the barb, uh, by the hook bend, and I'm going to take a support turn under, lift it up, pull the thread forwards, and lock it in like that. And that's a nice tail. Oh yeah. And it's all here, Spask. Okay, take a couple of secure wraps. I'm going to snip this off full length of the body to make a nice tapered body like that. I'm going to. I'm gonna clean up this one, tying up, and you don't want to tie any of those fibers. You could perhaps make a little bit bigger wing, but I really want the skinny fly because it's a light fly. And I'm gonna stop there. It's very important to stop a millimeter uh, from the wing because we're gonna split it. Uh, we're gonna after we're gonna split the thread and make uh, you know a hackle. So here we're gonna dub, and then I'm. Taking the furs from the hair's ear. So scrape it out in a bit with your index finger and thumb and place the skin on the table. It's much easier to get a hold of the fibers. Not holding it like that, that's quite hard. Oh, I can try. Pinch out a small amount, don't overdo it, okay? And we're gonna dub this very thin on the thread, okay? Very thin. And this dubbing is, I like it a lot because it's so soft and and, 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 and it's easy to dub this, this stuff. So make an anchor point and dub it real hard, nice and hard. So for each turn, I'm just gonna make sure the, I think it's called dubbing noodle, is I'm making on my thread. I've heard people use the dubbing noodle uh, word. So I'm gonna say dubbing noodle and, and Sean can correct me. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, turn there and back up again, and I'm using as little as I as I can of the materials. Okay, and I see I got a fiber that looks way too big on my camera, but not so big with my eyes. So I'm going to try to snip it out by using the camera. Get off! And another fiber. Get off! Hey, 
that will go. Beep, you know, you, you have to be a little bit picky. Okay, so go all the way up and stop a millimeter from from the from the wing because here we're gonna split it up. Okay, so there we got made made our body. I'm gonna snip off the underneath afterwards. This looks great. It's a bushy fly. Okay, we need to think about that. A bushy fly, and uh, the bushy flies is so good. So yeah. I'm gonna split the thread and I'm gonna do my best with the camera so close to the to the fly. So I'm gonna just gonna slide my fingers over the thread and that's gonna widen my thread out. You could have, perhaps you could spin the bobbin, but uh, this is the way I do it and it seems to work okay. So there you go, I'm gonna place the thread on my nail and I'm gonna split the thread with my with my needle. And I'm gonna make sure it's in the middle. And the very important now is <coughs> Sorry, is the thread is all the way up, okay? So I need to make sure it's all the way up like that. And I'm just gonna hang it there and I'm gonna pinch out a big piece of uh, hairs from the hairs mask for the, for the hackle. We're gonna call it the hackle because we're gonna hackle. <laughs> kind of spin it up, yeah. I got some more for my tubbing there. As you can see, I want, I want these fibers. Here, look at, it's so compact with hairs. You can see, I'm gonna press there and I'm gonna go in focus, there, yeah. These fibers, look, I want those guys in my splitted thread, okay? So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna make sure I got a lot behind my behind my finger. I'm gonna groom a lot with my thumb and I'm gonna pinch it. And I'm gonna try to get a big piece out because you need quite a few fibers to you know, make a nice hackle. Oh, that's way too much. But again, this stuff you can use in your dubbing. I got excited there, but oh, that's great. Yay. I just checked it if it's okay. And I'm gonna try to brush out again the under fur. Oh yeah, I did it, I did it. And I'm gonna snip off a little bit here, just like that. And I'm gonna grab this. Oh, I'm getting excited. I need to calm down. Um, I'm gonna grab this with my right hand. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the splitted thread. I'm just putting my pinky finger, pinky, little finger, in my in my dubbing, dubbing, splitted thread. And I'm gonna put in the fibers. And now it's quite okay to be a little bit hasty and pinch the thread. Oh, this is not always oh, so easy. <sighs> I, I can't breathe. Look, 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 look. And we need to make widen this out and be careful because these fibers are very slippery you know and you need to make this about one and a half centimeters ish oh this is bigger two centimeters okay between one and a half and two centimeters and do not make them too long you see so don't they are not longer than the, the wing and now I need to change my scissor over to the big one like that and I'm just gonna guide my scissor on top of my finger here and I'm gonna snip it off this side without snipping my thread. Oh my god, Jesus. And I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight and I need to take this over there because the camera's in the way. I'm singing a lot today. So I'm gonna take out some thread and I got, if you see on the GoPro, I got a lot of thread and I'm just gonna rub the thread like that. I'm gonna Get all I got, all twin on the thread. I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna hold there, and I'm gonna back up my thread. You can see here on the GoPro. Back up my thread all the way back. And I'm gonna lock the fibers inside my bobbin like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure our wing is all nice and neat. I'll tie it down, take a couple of turns at the back. One, two, one, two, lift up the fibers. I think I want yeah, another one there. Lift up and take some nice wraps all the way. Push it in and, and pull the fibers up. Take another wrap, pull the fibers up, take another wrap, pull the fibers up, take another wrap and finish off getting rid of all the woolly small fibers that is sticking out in your guy. I can see them on the camera. I can't see them with my eyes. Oh, there they are. Yay. Oh, there, small flies. 
make a nice head and finish off with a whip finish if I can manage behind the camera. Oh, it's so tight. Blah. Okay, one, two, three, four. So, so we can snip this off. I think I need to support this now. Sorry if you can't see anything. Snip off the thread. And then there you go. It looked like uh, I don't want to say it on camera, but what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna make my do take my thumb and I'm just gonna groom it like that. All the fibers up, and I'm gonna make sure everything is where they are supposed to be, like that. And then I'm gonna snip off the underneath here. I'm gonna snip off all the excess fibers here because here I want a nice flat body, okay? So like that, and it's gonna sit beautiful on the water. Look at this fly. I really love the bushy flies. You know, of course I love, as I told you, I love the thin nice. I got, this. look here. This is one I actually caught a big trout on. This one, this is my Baetis Rodani. This is a nice thin body, you see. And don't be shocked by the head. I like to tie these big heads on my dry flies. But here I've used a J in the wing and you can see this is very thin and yeah, I use a lot of time on these flies, but I also get excited with these flies. But you know, when I see like this one, you know, it's bushy, it looks simple. It, it just looks like it's gonna catch a lot of fish. And I think you agree with me. This is a real catcher. catcher. So there you go. That's, I mean, that's so easy. So yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'm gonna show you my coffee grinder, make some dubbing. And that's the dry fly version, uh, uh, version of, um, and you know, I've been inspired by Thomas Sulic. Uh, perhaps this is, have been done many times before, but I'm just gonna, as I told you, I'm gonna call this, uh, you know, one material, three flies or something like that. Uh, I'm just now, I'm gonna dry, tie the fly, uh, dry fly and I'm, I'm gonna dry, uh, tie, tie um, a merger and a nymph. And I'm gonna use some copper wire I think I'm gonna use that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But I'm, I want to show you, I'm just gonna put this in my box. I'm gonna show you the coffee grinder. I mean, oh, it really looks great. Really, really looks great. And it's gonna float like, you know, with all the nice cover here. It's gonna float like, you know, like any other a dry fly. I'm quite sure of that. And I, I told you, I've, I've tried out Thomas flies. And they float like anything else, so yeah. And they look great in the box, huh? Right b b uh, beneath, beside the cripple. Yeah, and uh, the the usual variant and my laptops. Yeah. So, okay, I'm talking too much again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, the the coffee grinder. As you can see, I got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, mostly, all of this is from the hair mask. And I, you know, you can fill this up pretty much, but I don't like to have too much. And I'm just gonna put on the top, like that. I'm gonna give it a couple of turns. I'm gonna check, oh, a little bit more. I mean, oh, look at that one. This looks so great. And you get this nice, nice mix of dubbing. Look at this, it's beautiful. And it's nice and fluffy. I'm gonna use this for the emerger and for the nymph, so. I'm gonna fill up this, look. I got a whole po a bag of uh, nice uh, hair mask dubbing. And again, you can here you can put in some synthetic materials if you want, you can put in some, some deer hair, or you can put in some, you can snip out some of the hair mask if you want a darker one, you can make your own dubbing. And uh, you know, if you had, if you had um, a whole uh, hair skin, you know, you really could do you tie a lot of flies with just a hair. So yeah, yeah. So okay, that's one of the three flies. And and uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more flies. <laughs> that's really helped me out. And yeah, Sean, uh, I want to <laughs> I want to say to you this. Uh, I've been thinking about these hooks for many years and I haven't found it. So as you can see, these are these rings are just. I want. I'm gonna hang up. Uh, a couple of here and perhaps some there and you know I can have some hanging here and it's so easy and nice to especially now when I got new materials so I think I'm gonna hang them up on the wall uh, so yeah perhaps I can see you you do not know <laughs> yeah I'll talk to you later 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.